Dear listeners of the MOOC course, let's continue our lecture on ecological economics as a foundation for sustainable mindset. This part of the course is developed by the teaching team from Ukrainian National Forestry University. We will focus attention today on system thinking and problem-based learning. In particular, the whole school approach is example of applying system thinking. What it really means? It means teaching sustainability through each course of program. It means changing professional behavior. It means university management system transformation, covering everything from procurement, waste management, logistic, to food catering, personal relationships. Many international organizations and initiatives deal with sustainability in education, like Association for the Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education, Baltic University Program, or UI Green Metric World University Ranking. Actually, Ukrainian National Forest University takes part in these three last mentioned processes. Good example is a star system. From these blocks, you see all aspects which covered by education for sustainable development approach, beginning from curriculum and uh, ending with investment, finance, well-being. It's actually about every field of the educational institution life. There are concepts like concept of the greening of education, and it means that process of redesigning curricula and all study programs for training professionals is aimed on integrated sustainability competence, which give understanding of relationship between human activities and also which will allow to get the skills so-called green skills. Many projects uh, are good examples of using such approach, of using such approaches. If we can speak in particular about project V4 Green University. It's a project of uh, Visegrad Fund and uh, it unites uh, Central European University which apply green metric world university and variety of activities allow to impact on sustainability competence of students and engaging them in many activities, conferences, workshops, video campaigns for students, organizing social competitions. And you can watch at the end of this video, uh, some additional video materials uh, to know more about this project. Problem-based learning. Problem-based learning is one of the approaches in ecological economics. We will consider a few steps which is based on and participation decision-making using case study of Borislav community. Problem solving is related to system thinking. And when we need to analyze problem, we should build problem base, choosing, defining, and structuring ecological economic problem. Next step is analysis, breaking down problem into understandable components. Later, attention focused on synthesis and reintegration of the paths of these ecological economic problems. And finally, communication is the translation of results to stakeholders. Borislav local community had an idea of transition to green energy as it was traditionally community built on non-renewable energy. 
And for this reason, in the framework of uh, Ukrainian Swiss project on green energy development in Carpathian Mountains, we propose them to use participatory video. What it means? It means creating video with assistance of expert in designing video by community itself. And using this approach, they produced the documentary, which called Boris Law on the way to an energy independent community. Again, this video is available at the end of this presentation. I encourage you to watch it as a good practical example. Practices that contribute to restoring a natural environment are really crucial. As example, we can show you the initiative of the Department of Landscape Architecture of our university, which was implemented quite uh, recently in our city. It actually means using approach, learning by doing, and we can show many such examples. Next one is a graduates of the Cold Forestry College in Bulehi, which had a campaign called Graduates of 2024 for Future Generation, uh, and it was uh, related to the Environment Day, and it was uh, also a symbol of unity and support of the idea of your green deal. And students planted trees on college campus and any other, and other plantations of restoring river for, forest, and they demonstrated enthusiasm and desire to change the world for better. And it is not just about planting trees. These words is a part of uh, expression by a director of the college. He told, this campaign is not just about planting trees, it's about statements that we will not give up and will build a better future. This is our gift to future generation. We want our children to live in peaceful and prosperous world. And I would add that it is not just about planting trees, it's about changing our mindset. And finally, you have reference list for your attention with some publications and video, which I mentioned during the presentation, and also recommended sources, which will allow you to develop your skills and knowledge on ecological economics, which is the base for sustainability mindset. Thank you. Let's sum it up. The whole school approach is a good example of applying system thinking to education for sustainable development. The main steps in problem solving from an ecological economics perspective are building the problem, defining and structuring it, analysis, breaking down the problem into understandable components, synthesis, reintegration of the components in a way that help us to understand the problem better, and communication, translation of results to stakeholders. The students' practical activities contribute to create a sustainable mindset based on the principle of learning by doing.